welcome welcome to the remote world by the way that's not my kids <laughs> <laughs> what can women who come to the next block expo expect let me highlight one thing we built that event during the bear market hallo und willkommen zu diesem interview und heute sprechen wir über ein sehr brisantes thema also zum einen über die next block expo die ansteht aber auch noch über women in web 3 weil ich persönlich bin auch der festen überzeugung das sind viel zu wenig frauen im Crypto Space und das soll sich ändern und darüber sprechen wir aber nicht nur darüber es gibt auch noch ein Gewinnspiel wie du an der Next Block Expo for free teilnehmen kannst also bleib auf jeden Fall bis zum Ende mit dabei auf unserem Kanal findest du spannende neue Projekte News zur aktuellen Marktlage und die faktenbasierte Analyse von Scams wenn dich die Themen interessieren lass auf jeden Fall schon mal ein Abo da und wenn du dich maximal schützen möchtest wir haben eine 8 Punkte Checkliste kostenfrei für dich ausgearbeitet wie du die bekommst schau mal in die Description Susa Tom, thank you very much for joining my interview and I think today we talk about a very interesting theme. We talk about women, we talk about crypto and I think currently there are 99% men in this area, in this branch and so it has to change. Why do you think that is Susa? Hi, um, so yes, you're actually not far off from those statistics. I recruit in this space and honestly, I was recruiting for a CTO and literally there was one applicant. So yes, 99% uh, sounds like a right statistic. I was digging into it a little bit about why that is. There is a Kaspersky study which says that 40% of women who are currently in IT were initially a bit wary of joining and getting into the industry because there weren't that many women in the first place. So literally they were, they were looking for role models. They, they felt intimidated, I suppose, a little bit. So I think what NBX is doing brilliantly is that we're showcasing role models, people who have done it, people who are already doing it. It's not like we're talking about, oh, well, the represent there's not enough representation. We need to do something more. We need more diversity. None of that. We actually give spotlight to women who are already doing it great. And that in turn is supposed to hopefully lead to more women being energized and being more courageous to go, okay, if she's done it, then you know, I can do it. I like the idea. Woman in Web3 is supposed to be the solution. What is that exactly? Yes. So, so, so like, like I mentioned, the, the, the idea is that we will highlight where there are women on stage and that will show us the, the role models that, that we're, we're thinking about. On one hand, we've got uh, female ambassadors who are the females who have, who are already working in the crypto space, who are influencers in this space. And we are asking them to promote the event among their network to showcase also that they're already working in Web3. And for them, we've got like a closed event just to say thank you to them as well, a breakfast on the second day of conference. For newcomers, for people who need a little bit more guidance, we're doing coffee breaks on each day, networking with all the other women and trust me last year i had a chance of coordinating it in berlin in december and honestly it does work like we have a closed telegram group just for females and let's say somebody's in the conference for the first time and they feel a little bit more comfortable asking if somebody wants to go for lunch i know it's little it feels little initially but honestly when i have conversations with those women later on they are saying oh Welcome, welcome to the remote world. Um, yes, so so that. Uh, by the way, that's not my kids. <laughs> not this time. Well, I'm, I'm in the hotel. I'm hoping not to have kids here, but it happened. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but frankly, that's life. Just that's that, life. Uh, <laughs> listen, let, let's call it like a sideways opportunity to comment on it. Is that we are also inclusive for you know bringing kids if you like. I mean, we had the situation when someone was asking us, "Hey, can I bring my kid?" Say, hey, why not? I mean, it's not like uh, typically the event for kids, but 
as as MBX, we are inclusive. And you know, one of these yeah. angle of inclusiveness, uh, actually empowerment, is expressed by uh, like a, you know, really like a special care for also women in work lead, trying to kind of build a context to, to attract more women. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if you're still here, the kid, but he is like very annoying here in the background. Anyway, what to said is like it's progressing from one year to the other, and that's what makes me happy as event organizer, and it really works. I mean, we do have a lot of good feedbacks, and on top of the activities that we do, we were able to create uh, the whole like MBX Women community. There is a special Telegram, like a closed group where members can you know exchange views as well, even post event. So. I'll call it kind of a movement in a way, if I may, yeah. Um, yeah, and, had, and uh, the person, idea, by the I'll way. just cut into this because I am, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, no, no, I was no just problem. going to cut in because I don't know if, if Tom is on the Telegram group because it's just for females, um, but there was, after the last conference, some of the girls said, I love how wholesome this group is like there was real live discussion yeah from time to time somebody will say okay i'm promoting this but realistically once the conference is on that group is 100 percent alive and people are networking and are exchanging ideas and are asking each other where to go and stuff so that's different to a lot of telegram groups that are out there going back to your question because i have heard it who came up with idea i think tom correct me if i'm wrong but it has been established by anna weber or Anna Weber. Yeah, so, so in terms of the idea, I, I think uh, it was my idea, frankly speaking, but we recruited Anna back then as a leader and she did really well. And then she kind of needed for the private reasons to kind of disconnect a little bit. Um, she's now in the US um, getting uh, her baby, as I believe. <laughs> as I know, right? Because of the fact that I experienced women in Web3 movement around Web Summit, that was my first kind of spark of inspiration and then when Anna joined she was the one who kind of gave it the you know full steam ahead so she really grew that idea back then at the initial stages absolutely yes last question from my side you teased um, some information like hey here's a workshop breakfast and so on some things on NBX but what can women who come to the next block expo expect what well, would you expect more than a lot of yes. <laughs> entertainment um, networking yes. so the, yeah i just wanted to say that you know the, these are the, the the main uh kind of what Tusa already mentioned these are the the main points for you know networking for, for the experience but on top of that there's a lot of good content i would say but yeah i'll, I'll hand over to Zusa anyway i think what we're trying to do is making this conference a little bit more inclusive so the conference itself is incredible right the festival in my eyes is brilliant for networking like we we met that way right through the networking app it's very well thought in many aspects so there is all that, just NBX is, is great in itself. Uh, however, also to make it a little bit less intimidating, a little bit more inclusive. So if there are any females out there thinking of going to NBX, please join us for the coffee breaks, look out for them. I think the face-to-face -face contact will probably be the, the best. Obviously, there will be people who are in that group. There will be people who are a little bit more established as well, so they can be your mentors. And that's how we're going to organize it there. I agree with you. Um, we live in a blockchain, in a digital world, but networking face to face, I think this is the best option. Like we met uh, last year in Warsaw and also uh, and also Berlin, by the way. It's more like, like feeling family, I think, like that uh, on NBX, like, oh, hey, uh, hello again. <laughs> If you joined there some uh, some more times, I think my fourth time now, I think I know everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's this good is that really you say nice. That. Yeah, that's yeah. good that you say that. That's this, it. That's this, it. Uh, yeah. this is somehow a kind of a family, I would say. In a positive way, I mean, like, you know, we meet from each other, we, from, time, from time to time with each other, not only during the conferences, but also sometimes in other events. And, and everyone is like, Knowing that, hey, you know, we met at LBX and, and this is this is what it meant to be from the from day one. Especially, just let me highlight one thing. This is important for me personally, but I, I think for um, many people as well. We built that event during the bear market, so it's not like it's like you no know, hyped event just appeared one of you know hundreds of events out there. No, we built it on the bear market when yeah. the industry needed leadership, right? And they needed to to have a, like a signals. Hey, there's someone actually building 
from a scratch <laughs> something incredible and, and uh, that's what i'm proud of that we've built it through the bear market and uh you know we were the ones that built the event for like 2000 people after terra collapse and ftx collapse right that's important i guess last thing we talked about in the intro we have a competition um tom please let me know what we can expect the people can win a ticket for the nbx but can you give us some more details i think a lot of people in my community will be interested yes yeah, so, so i would say uh i'll organize the contest here for like the content around the idea for two groups of people. If you already have been at NBX at least once, please describe your experiences and, and say like, what would you what would you recommend for others that haven't been there yet, right? That's one thing. And if you were a person that you actually haven't attended NBX yet and you want to attend, let us know why do you think it's going to be worth it? Like what is personally for you there? And, and then together we're going to pick um, the the coolest answers and we will have like, five tickets to be distributed towards your community cool let's do it i think this is really cool do you have to say some words um regarding networking blockchain crypto what <laughs> yeah, is important can, can... for my community <laughs> yes 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 okay so so uh, i'll give you an overview of what will be happening so that you can plan accordingly so so first and foremost if if you are the person that want to let's say like speak to the speakers and to vip people usually like c levels maybe you want to get some business done what i would recommend is to get the vip ticket for the reason to be at first at the uh, vip night it, it is happening tuesday may 14th right and then you will have an access to the vip zone and um, in a cinema and and that's the absolutely premium opportunity for the network so that's point number one then the second point is that this year uh, for the first time we are uh changing a little bit the structure of the categories of the content so we are I just wanted you to make sure that you will experience the content about real work assets, about AI and blockchain, you know, all those trends. We are even organizing a panel about the memes because we believe this is this year is different. Like this cycle is different in terms of memes. They usually signaled the end of the bull run and I believe that something changed and this is like the expression of the cultural shift or something like kind of a belonging. So these are the interesting topics that will be there from a content perspective. Uh, really great speakers. We are fortunate to have again Robbie Young from Animoca as an example. And uh, last but not least, uh, just a few days ago, uh, Animoca uh, called me to, to ask if there, there's going to be a room for Yatsu, their, their chairman. So he, yeah, I mean, he will be joining as well. Obviously, my answer was yes. So we are still having some last minute surprises. And, and, and then in the end, there's going to be a lot of parties. So uh, always like David, my business partner, always saying like, hey, it's about the content, obviously, networking, obviously, but you need to have some good memories in terms of like having fun with other people. And so as far as I know, one of these teams is preparing like a really huge party uh, the first day of the event uh, to an extent that we will consider that being like official opening party for a thousand people they're preparing something really huge yeah we will have official after party the other day so may 16th and uh, on top of that as was mentioned before at polishblockchainweek.com you can find all the side events uh, we expect to be to have like 20 plus events organized by different types of projects event organizers so if you feel like you know joining us from monday to friday you have what to do <laughs> across the whole week that's right um all the links down below so you can read everything last words for the woman in this interview so susa please let us know what are your last words <laughs> yes i was going to say and we'll be well represented by females so <laughs> that's going to be good that's another reason to definitely come and also we have to remember that this is a massively decentralized world like in initially when i joined this space i was even surprised that there are events just for women but it is honestly a very female friendly environment if you are even a little bit interested in what it's all about then this is the right place to be for females thank you very much both of you really interesting looking forward to see you the time is running and we will see but i think we will have a very very cool event again thank you very much yeah.